Hi guys, Julie Henderson here, and there are so many new coaches in our coach group that I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself and say hi to everybody. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Julie, and I have been a coach for just about three years now. It's going to be three years next month, and when I started as a coach, um, it was quite different than it is now. Uh, I kind of fell into coaching. I was a free customer to somebody. So get to Emerald. You get amazing free customers like myself. I was a free customer to somebody. Um, my coach never reached out to me and I was a free customer for two years. I had no idea I could become a coach. I had no idea what coaches were. I thought my coach was an automated chat on the other side of a computer. So uh, I can only imagine where I would be right now if I had started five years ago. But so um, after being a free customer for two years, I met somebody who was a coach and was a real person. And I made a coach switch, became a coach myself, and the rest is history. So when I started as a coach, though, things were completely different than they are now. Um, the coach groups were not like they are now. Uh, we had no team training site. We had no team website. We had no files filled with tons of information. We didn't have um, all of the tools in the back office. The back office was there, but it was it didn't have a lot of training things. We didn't have, um, you know, coach trainings. We didn't have the coach new coach boot camps. We had nothing, nothing. Um, my coach doesn't do a ton with coaching, and so I had Google in the back office, and that is how I learned to coach. Um, I kind of got to a spot in my coaching where I was like, I can sit here and wait for training to drop into my lap, which it's not going to happen. Uh, or I could just get out there and make it work. And so I did. So these last three years, my life has completely, completely changed. Um, about a year into coaching, I lost my job unexpectedly. And I have been a full-time coach ever since. Without coaching, I would not have been able to do that. I would have been devastated financially. Um, so I've been coaching for two years full time. My husband was able to leave his job just this past August after uh, working there for 22 years. So we are both now full time coaches. So I just want you to know that yes, it is possible. It is possible. You can do it if you want to and if you put the work in. So everybody wants to know what my secret sauce is and what my special, my, my magic trick is. And really it was consistency and believing. From the start, I just jumped right in and saw other people doing it. And I was like, if they can do it, so can I. Like, there was no reason I couldn't. And I never for one second believed that I couldn't do it. I always knew that I could. I always knew that no matter how many weeks I had with just crappy paychecks, I was putting in tons of hours and I didn't see the return and people were saying no and I was getting rejected and getting turned down. I just knew that somewhere something was going to happen. And on the other side of all of these obstacles that I was hitting, that I was going to be successful. I just knew it. I always knew it deep down in my heart. And I never gave up. I was consistent. I kept doing the daily activities every day, even the days I didn't feel like it. And then it happened. And now I here, here I am. And now I am a full-time coach. Um, I still get no's. You're going to get no's. It's okay. It's just part of the job. It's part of the more people you reach, the more no's you're going to get. So get used to that. Uh, I don't want you guys to think that a no is not a, is a no. A no is not a right. Or a no is a not now. Uh, so many of you, especially my own personally sponsored coaches, you guys know you didn't become a coach the first day that I asked you. You became a coach the 10th time that I asked you. You blew me off for months and months and months, sometimes two years, and then you became a coach. Um, so don't give up on people. They're watching your journey. It is going to be absolutely amazing when you start seeing people you haven't seen in a long time, you haven't talked to in a long time, come up to you and tell you that you've been inspiring them. They've been watching your journey. They see the changes you've been making. They've been making changes on their own quietly without telling you, and now they're ready to join you. Uh, it will happen. People are watching. It's freaky when it happens. Sometimes it's not even the people you expect. Like I've had uh, my best friend from high school, her sister, who I didn't even – no was on Facebook. I didn't even know my best friend from high school was on Facebook and they knew my whole life story just from watching what I'm posting. So be consistent. The second tip is take responsibility. This is your business. You are responsible for it. Like I said, I could have sat there and waited for the training to hop into my lap and fall into my lap. And if I had done that, I would not be successful. I would still be making nothing, nothing. Um, I had to go out and find it on my own. I went out and I used YouTube. I used the back office. I used Google. I did everything I could. I followed top coaches. There's a list in that back office of top coaches that you can follow. I followed top coaches to see what they were doing and then made it my own. I you know, watched what they were doing, watched what was successful with them, and watched how they worded things. I noticed that they weren't posting sales ads all the time, so I stopped doing that. That made a huge difference. So honestly, if you want this to happen, it, you're going to make it happen. If you 
can think of excuses, excuses are easy. Excuses are easy in life. So it really is going to be up to you and the effort that you put in. We are all busy. We all have stuff going on. We all have obstacles. When I started as a coach, I was going to school full time. I was working full time. I was studying for my state boards. I was in debt. The last thing I had time or money to do was coach. But here I am now uh, paying off debt, you know, being able to travel and have my freedom. So take responsibility. If you need to find something, reach out to your upline. We don't know if you're struggling unless you say something. Use Google, use the back office, use all the tools, use our team training site. There are so many resources available to you that if you are not successful, it is your responsibility. So I hope this helps stay consistent and take responsibility and great things are going to happen. Um, everybody is going to tell you and as a new coach, you're going to hear so many people say that coaching absolutely changes their life. They're changed their life and it's going to change your life as well. And it sounds so cliche and so corny, but it really is true. And so you are just about to see exactly the impact that coaching has, not only on your life, but on the lives of others around you. And so it is an absolutely amazing journey. Welcome to the team. Reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns, anything at all. I'm always here for you. And I look forward to helping you along your journey and I'll talk to you later. Bye.